Hi, I am Lopa Mudrashen. Welcome back to my channel, Electronic Science Tutorial. I will start a new lecture series on NTA UGC NET and West Bengal SET exam for electronic science subject. Those who are not follow my channel, please follow my channel. If you like my channel, then please like, share and subscribe my channel. So, let's start our class. Hi, I am Lopa Mudra. Welcome back to my channel with a new lecture on semiconductor diode, PN junction diode that is characteristic curve of PN junction diode. It is very much important topic for you guys, those who are trying to crack NTA UGC NET exam for electronic science. And also it is very important topic for West Bengal SET exam. In unit 1 of the electronic science syllabus, this topic is placed. In previous class, I already talked about various topics of PN junction semiconductor diode. Those who are not check out my channel, please follow and do like, share and subscribe my channel. So, let's start our class. Today, I will talk about one most important topic of PN junction diode. That is the current voltage characteristic of a PN junction diode. Okay. So, we know the forward bias condition and the reverse bias condition. When a voltage V is applied across a PN junction diode, two conditions occur. One is forward bias condition and the other one is reverse bias condition. When we connect the positive voltage to the P side of the semiconductor diode and the negative side of the voltage is connected with the N side of the semiconductor diode, then it is called forward bias condition. And the reverse condition that means when we connect the positive voltage with the P, uh, N side of the semiconductor diode and the negative voltage is connected with the P side of the semiconductor diode then it is called the reverse bias condition right so when a voltage is applied across a PN junction diode the total current flowing through the junction that means under forward bias condition and under reverse bias condition so the general characteristics of a semiconductor diode for the forward and reverse bias region that means when we adding the two conditions what are the total current flowing through the pn junction diode that is i equal to is exponential ev divided by kb t eta minus 1 so this is the total current which is flowing through the PN junction semiconductor diode under forward bias condition and also under reverse bias condition. This equation is also known as Shockley equation. Okay. So this is the current voltage characteristics of a PN junction diode equation. So this is the total current when we voltage V is applied across a PN junction diode and IS is the reverse saturation current, E is the electronic charge, V is the applied voltage. If we consider V is positive, that means the PN junction under forward bias condition. If we consider V is negative, then we can consider PN junction under reverse bias condition. Okay, student? So, Kb is the Boltzmann constant, T is the absolute temperature of the junction and eta is a dimensionless number which depends on the material of the PN junction diode. So, if we consider that the PN junction is uh, germanium material, then eta is equal to 1 and if we consider the PN junction diode is made by C 
silicon material then we can consider eta equal to 2 right so we know we all know that is the electronic charge value that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb v is the applied voltage so what is v v is positive if pin junction under forward bias condition and v is negative if pin junction under reverse bias condition okay so this is the voltage what we applied in the pin junction diode and kb is the boltzmann constant so what is the value of boltzmann constant in si unit that is 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 joule per kelvin t is the absolute temperature if we take room temperature then what we can consider that is t equal to 300 kelvin okay so eta is depends on the material of the pn junction diode we all know so eta is 1 if the pn junction semiconductor diode is made by germanium material and eta is 2 if the pn junction semiconductor diode is made by silicon material okay so this is the current which is flowing through the semiconductor diode under forward bias condition and reverse bias condition this is the total current of the semiconductor diode okay so this equation is also known as Shockley equation this equation is very important okay so we can write this equation as I equal to Is e to the power Ev divided by Kbt eta minus 1. Okay. So, here we can consider Kbt. That means Kb is the value of Boltzmann constant 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 joule per Kelvin and T is the 300 Kelvin. So, here we write 300 into 300 divided by E, e means 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb that means it is the electronic charge so this is the value is this value is 26 milli electron volt so this is referred by vt so this equation is the general characteristics of a semiconductor diode for the forward and reverse bias region okay or this equation is called Shockley equation. Right? So, in this slide, we saw the plot of the volt ampere characteristics of a pin junction diode. So, this is the plotting of volt ampere characteristics of a pin junction diode. This side is voltage V, which is defined by V, and this side is this axis is defined by current this side is forward voltage that means when we consider the pn junction under forward bias condition this current we can draw from a pn junction diode okay and this side is reverse bias region that means when a pn junction under reverse bias condition this current condition occur so this side is called reverse region okay so this voltage is forward voltage and this voltage is reverse voltage this region is forward region and this region is reverse region right so we very carefully consider if we very carefully consider this dotted line and we can if we see this dotted line what we saw that means when the volt if we increase the voltage under this dotted line the current is very small in this portion when the voltage exit this dotted line the current increases very sharply okay so this dotted line is very important point what is this dotted line or dotted point this voltage is known as cutting voltage or knee voltage okay this is the break point under this breakpoint, when we increase the voltage, current increase, current also increases, but it increases very smallly. And when the voltage is exit the cutting voltage condition, 
the current is increases very sharply so this is the vi characteristic curve of a pn junction diode and this voltage is called this dotted portion of the voltage is called v gamma which is known as cutting voltage break point voltage or knee voltage okay and this v gamma this v gamma this point is known as v gamma so this v gamma is point 6 volt if we consider that the pn junction semiconductor diode is made by silicon diode or the material is silicon material and this v gamma value is 0.2 volt when we consider the pn junction diode material is germanium material so when the semiconductor material is silicon material or the pn junction diode material is silicon material we get this cutting voltage at 0.6 volt and when the pn junction diode is made by germanium material then we get this cutting voltage at 0.2 volt so this is the very important point of volt ampere characteristics of a pn junction diode okay at reverse voltage if we consider this portion that means reverse region at reverse voltage the current is increases very small portion and after some dotted portion the current increases sharply and this voltage is called breakdown voltage this current is also called reverse saturation current this small portion current is called reverse saturation current and this value is very small so we can neglect this reverse bias condition current of a pn junction diode so the main important topic is the forward condition of a pn junction diode and this is the overall volt ampere characteristics plotting of a pn junction diode okay cutting voltage is very important which is depends on the material if the pn junction semiconductor material is made by silicon material then it is then we get the cutting voltage at 0.6 volt and if the pn junction diode is made by germanium material then we get the cutting voltage at 0.2 volt so this is the volt ampere characteristics we can neglect the reverse leakage current which is very small current very small portion of current very small value of current and this is this current is called reverse saturation current also okay so this forward current is much important for a pn diode okay so this is the overall of a volt ampere characteristics of a pn junction diode i hope you understand this topic so here we end today's session with this we have come to the end of this session i hope you like this video thank you friends if you like my video please do like share and subscribe my channel fir milte hain ek nayi video ke sath thank you